Praise the Lord, somebody. Hallelujah. Good evening, good evening, good evening, everybody. Good evening and welcome, welcome. We are going to go into our teaching for this evening shortly. I want to encourage everybody who is joining us tonight to share the broadcast, invite somebody, uh, tell somebody to tell somebody that we are live and we are about to get into the teaching of the word as we step into the month of um, March. Just take care of a few business here. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hello. Who is on TikTok? Obachela, thank you so much for coming in. Lisa, I see you. I'm trying to see who else is on um, Facebook. You are welcome. Thank you so much. I see that people who are on, on TikTok as well as on YouTube and Facebook. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, just give me an indication in the comment section if you are able to hear me. If my voice is audible enough, that is the most important thing so that we make sure that the word of God is received well and clear. Amen. Can I see the people from Facebook? I'm just waiting for you to indicate and just do a greeting. Snare, thank you so much. Can you hear me? Awesome. Um, I see Snare has joined us as well. Thank you so much. So everybody can hear me. We are going to start. Amelia, I see you on TikTok. I know that those of you who are on Facebook, maybe you are struggling with the visuals in terms of seeing me live, but this is the best we can do for now. Amen. So just make sure you get your journals and your pens ready and get ready. Um, Minister Amelia knows that once I start with the teaching, um, you have to be sure that you are ready with your pen and your journal so that you capture as much as possible the scriptures that I will be sharing so that you can go back to them and um, meditate on them after the broadcast during the week tomorrow as well. I hope that some of you were able to join us this morning for the commanding your month of March. There were prayers that we undertook this morning. Very quickly, I want you to turn your Bibles to Isaiah chapter 60, verse 1 to 5. That is our anchor scripture for this evening. We're going to be speaking from um, Isaiah chapter 60, verse 1 to 5. We're also going to look at the book of Micah chapter 2, verse 10. This is what our our prayers tonight will be based on. I will be going like a marathon, definitely. Sne, thank you so much for indicating that you can hear me. So please keep me engaged so that I can engage with you and talk with you. And also while I'm teaching the word and while I'm praying along with you, you must understand that the Holy Spirit then begins to minister to both of us. So you never know what God gets to say during this broadcast. Amen, somebody. So if you've uh, turned your Bibles to Isaiah chapter 60, Verse 1 to 5, I want you to say amen, amen. Isaiah chapter 60, we're going to read the first five verses. Verse 1 to 5, the Bible says, Arise and shine because your light has come and the glory and the brilliance of the Lord has risen upon you. This is the word that the Lord dropped in my spirit this evening. Hallelujah. This morning when I woke up, the Lord said we must declare the word back to him. We must declare his word back to him and say it back to him and remind him of what his word says. Hallelujah. That is the boldness we are stepping into the month of March with. And in the month of March, the Lord confirmed to me the attitude and posture that we are to enter the month of March with, it is an attitude of arising and it's the attitude of shining. We're going to go a bit deeper into that tonight. The Bible says, for in fact, darkness will cover the earth. I'm on verse two now and deep darkness will cover the people, but the Lord will rise upon you, Jerusalem, and his glory and brilliance will be seen on you. So if you personalize these two, these five verses and you see what the Lord is saying about you, he says, in fact, darkness will cover the earth and deep darkness will cover the people but the Lord will arise upon you and his glory and brilliance will be seen on you he's giving you a promise that your life will be a life of brilliance and it will be a life of glory only if you do what we read in verse 1 which is what we are going to articulate tonight nations will come to your light and kings to the brightness of your rising whatever field or sphere or environment that you operate in that is where you will see people 
coming. Yeah, that is where you will see prosperity coming. That is where you will see success. Your prayers will be answered along your environment. Nations will come to your light. People will come to you for advices and solutions. Kings will come to the brightness of your rising. Lift up your eyes around you and see they all gather together. They come to you. So you become the focus of attention as you step into the month of March. This is not a month to be apologetic. In the month of March, all eyes will be around you to see you. They will gather for you. Your sons will come from far away and your daughters will be looked after at their side. Verse 5 says, then you will see and be radiant and your heart will tremble with joy and rejoice because the abundant wealth of the seas will be brought to you. The wealth of the nations will come to you. I wish there was somebody who could be excited and shout amen. He says, the abundance of the wealth of the seas. Do you know how wide the sea is? He says, that abundance will come to you. It will be brought to you. The abundance as much as the breadth and of, of the sea, it will come to you. The wealth of the nations will come to you. Amen. Mike chapter 2 verse 10 says, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted. It shall destroy you. Even with the sore destruction, every stagnant water stinks. So move and don't remain at the same spot. That is the prophetic word we are marching with into uh, the month of March. We are rising, we are departing because God is saying, this is not your rest. This is not your stop. This is not where you are supposed to be. Wherever you ended in February, wherever you ended last year, wherever you ended in January, he says, this is not your stop. This is not Park Station. This is not where you get off. This is the time where you dust yourself and you arise. He's telling you that you are to arise from spiritual depression. You need to arise into a new life that he's giving you. He's saying he's expecting that you are going to shine and be radiant with the glory that he's presenting into your life. So now we begin to see from this prophetic word and prophetic instruction that we received, there are things to note. Number one, there is a shining ahead of us in the month of March. There is a glory ahead of us in the month of March. There is a shining. You are going to shine. There is a glory that is laid out for you in the month of March. Number two, where you are currently is not where you are destined to be. Where you are currently, it is not where you are destined to be. Some of you know deep down inside that you are actually at the point of settling and God does not want you to settle. Some people settle in relationships as well, but God does not want you to settle. It is not where you are destined to be. Some of you are stuck in a career level and you know that that is not where God wants you to be. Some of you know that you should have studied further, but something held you back. I'm going to reveal that to you through the word of God. Amen, somebody. So where you are is not where you are destined to be. Number three, you need to understand that there can be no shining without a rising. Hallelujah. The Bible starts saying by arise, and then it says shine, arise and shine. There is no gap. He does not give you a comma in between. He doesn't say there is something that needs to happen in between your rising and in between and, and, and you, you shining. But what he says is that the moment you make a decision to arise is the moment when you begin to shine. So then the two are interdependent. You cannot shine without rising. You cannot rise if you obviously have risen, you will shine. Amen. So there is no gap between the shining and the rising. If you have risen, then of a necessity and a consequence, you must definitely shine. What does that mean for me and you? It means that the forces of darkness cannot stop us from rising. It cannot, st they cannot stop us. The devil cannot stop you from shining. That is what it means. He cannot stop. There is no interval. There is no, uh, we are not taking a break in between. So we are entering this March full force. We are marching in full force. We are saying we are rising and we are shining. It is immediate. We are rising and we are shining. So what God wants you to know is that if you can rise, then you can definitely shine. If you can arise, then you can definitely shine. Tell your neighbor, arise and shine arise and shine. It's instant. It's dependent on, on each other. Number four, you cannot arise without you making a decision to arise and without your participation. Your rising in the month of March is dependent on your participation and your decision. Nothing happens by force in the kingdom of God. Everything is through the free will of God. Hallelujah. You cannot rise without your decision. You cannot rise. You cannot shine without your participation. Your shining is dependent 
on your participation. So we now understand that rising is a choice and shining is a choice and also an act that is to be performed. So no one rises without shining by chance. You cannot shine by chance. If I'm to stand up from this chair that I'm sitting on, I stand up with a decision that I want to go to a particular place. Nobody just decides to stand up without a reason. You stand up with, with, with an intention to move towards a particular direction. Maybe you are changing to a different room. You are rising. You are changing position. No one stands up from the sitting position without rising. So before I can go to any place, I have to rise up. Hallelujah. So anything that you want to do in life, anything that you want to achieve in the month of March, you will have to arise first. You will have to get up from where you are. If you think of a situation of a graduate who graduates cum laude with straight A's and everything, and he graduates with distinction, he cannot, you, he can, you, you, if you ask him how he did it, he has to be able to articulate to you, how did he get to that position? How did he get that cum laude degree? Hallelujah. He, he took certain calculated steps. He made certain decisions that led him to the success that he achieved. So if you have not a reason, child of God, you need to understand it's because of the choices you made. If you are not going to rise up in the month of March, you must know that it is because of a choice. If you are not going to shine, there is a choice that you made. Then you can track where you are going wrong, where you are missing the mark. We need to know the choices to make. Amen, somebody. We need to make the choices to make. Hallelujah. So number five, we then begin to understand that we need to leave where we are currently for, we, we must understand that uh, it is our personal responsibility. Your decision to move and to arise and shine, it is your personal responsibility. Hallelujah. Ephesians 5 verse 11 says, and have no fellowship with unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. But look at verse 14. He says, wherefore he saith, awake thou that sleepest and arise from the dead and Christ shall give thee light. It is an instruction that he's saying we must wake up. So there is a possibility that the reason why you are not shining is because you did not rise up from your sleep. I know that we declared this year, we said this is our year of rest when things will come with ease, but we cannot give up and say we are going to sleep. Imagine somebody who is a couch potato, who is sitting on the couch every day, eating chips all day, and, and, and nothing happens in his life. That is the expectation we have because they've not decided to do anything else but that. Hallelujah. So uh, Ephesians 5, 14, he says, awake from your sleep. You need to awake from your sleep. That is the first key that you need to know. What does it mean to rise? It means you must awake from your sleep. Romans 13, 12 says, the night is fast spent and the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and put on the armor of light. You need to put on the armor of arising. You need to be awake. Amos chapter 6, 6 verse 1 says, those at ease in, in Zion, woe judgment is coming to those who are at ease and carefree in Zion and to those who are on the mountain of Samaria. So if you are taking things too easy, you need to understand that the devil will infiltrate and cause disease there. Don't take things so easily and so be so relaxed that you don't take charge of your life. So spiritual warfare needs to be part of your DNA in the month of March. Amen, somebody. Luke chapter 2 verse 8 to 9 in particular particular says, and there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. Hallelujah. They, it says there were shepherds who were in the field who were keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them and the glory of the Lord shone around them and they were so afraid. So the angel of the Lord appeared and there was light that was shined upon them. Why? Because the shepherds were not asleep. Hallelujah. There was, there were shepherds who were keeping watch over their flock. Many people need to repent. In fact, let me not even say many people, certain ministers need to repent because they have not kept watch over their flock. Hallelujah. They, 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 you, you need to understand that whatever, wherever you submit yourself to, hallelujah, they need to keep watch over you as well, hallelujah. But remember I said there is a participation as well. So as you submit yourself to your leadership, as you submit yourself to the teaching of the word, you, you, you begin to shine, hallelujah. Because why? The shepherds are doing their part. The, the, follow, the, the sheep are doing their part as well in the name of Jesus, hallelujah. So we now understand that divine 
visitation can only happen to those people that are not sleeping. Hallelujah. That is why the Bible warns us. It says, a little sleep, a little slumber. Poverty enters your life. Hallelujah. We should be very careful about being caught napping and sleeping when opportunity is knocking on the door. Hallelujah, somebody. So we need to get up from our prayerlessness. We cannot delegate prayer to other people. I'm grateful for the people that keep on tuning in on this broadcast all the time, every night, uh, diligently coming up at 10 p.m. to say, you know what, we want to we, we want to have a fellowship with the word of God. We want to pray with other believers. You are taking that responsibility. You are not delegating. Hallelujah. So it is, it, it, I'm not saying don't sleep because the, the, the Bible says that God gives his beloved rest. Hallelujah. So you do sleep, but don't be so relaxed that you let things just, you know, remain in a mediocre state. Don't leave things to in a settlement state. You just give up and you say, you know, what I've achieved, what I've achieved. There is a danger in, 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 in you reaching the point where you say I've achieved, I've got my house, I've got my car, wherever you have, you have uh, 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 gotten to, you need to understand that there is a better place that you can go. There is another car that you can buy that is even better. Don't settle into contentment that is just mediocre because you never know what happens if that one car breaks. Hallelujah. So always be yearning to achieve more and to do more in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. So we need to get up from that position. We Don't say I have succeeded and I'm done. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, somebody. Are we still tracking together? Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We're going to close on time today. I'm going to be short. Hallelujah. So uh, that's why I'm, I'm rushing so that you catch me. Hallelujah. So don't measure yourself by comparing with others and say, at least I'm better than my neighbor or at least I'm better than my friend. Measure yourself with the scale of God. Is God happy and content with where you are currently? Hallelujah. So don't be complacent. Hallelujah. Do not be that kind of person that has a premature contentment. You are content premature Surely you are thinking that you have arrived. Don't have the mentality that I've arrived, but always be seeking, be pushing for more, push for your vision, push for your goals in the month of March, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Facebook, I wish that you could also be as awake with uh, uh, um, TikTok. They are also engaging. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So you need to understand that until the moment where they say Jesus has come back, until that day of ascension, there is room to take one more step. There is room to push forward. There is a room to, to somebody still needs to be healed. There is somebody that you can still pray for and they are healed. There is room to bring financial liberation to you or to your family member or to somebody. There is room for a soul to be won. There is room for one more step. Somebody type in the comment section, in the comment section, that one more step, take that one more step. Hallelujah. When Abraham, uh, his father died. God came and picked up Abraham and continued with him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So you need to understand that God has got your back to make sure that you're going to finish what you start. You're going to finish what you start and he's going to be with you. He's going to take you to the next realm and to the next direction. Hallelujah. In Genesis chapter 49 verses um, 14 to 15, Genesis 49, 14 to 15, we look at the example of Issachar and this tragedy is that he, it, it, the Bible says he is as strong as couching down between two burdens and he saw that rest was good and the land it was pleasant and he bowed his shoulder to bear and became a servant unto tribute hallelujah so we see that Issachar Hallelujah. Although he ended very well at this point, because he chose to, to, to couch down between two burdens, he saw that rest was good. The Bible says in verse 15 that he says that the land was pleasant. He got too relaxed. He got tired. Hallelujah. One more step, Natasha. There is room for one more step. Hallelujah. There is really room for one more step. Hallelujah. So don't be that person who will be a victim and you become a servant. You become a slave like Issachar did. Hallelujah. There is one more step that you can take. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A, 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 a one minister said, if you fail to embark on acceleration, you have surrendered yourself to oppression. Let me say that again. If you fail to embark on accelerating on your vision and your dreams. You have opened up yourself to oppression. Hallelujah. So don't give up on your dreams. Don't give up on your vision. Push forward. Push forward. Hallelujah. So that you don't get oppressed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't, don't, don't look at life as just a permanent vacation. There are some people who are just on a permanent vacation. Because if, if you just take 
you know, everything is just always a vacation with you, a holiday with you. Then you open up the door for frustration. Hallelujah, somebody. So don't align yourself too much with ease that you don't see the enemy coming. There is also protection prayers that you will be praying in the month of March. You protect and preserve. Remember, I told you there's a door of preservation and protection that you need to continuously be, be, be declaring. Hallelujah. So I want to encourage somebody tonight and say, arise, take up your journey. Hallelujah. Don't be like the children of Israel that kept on going around the same mountain. Even in the book of Deuteronomy, they were told like, have you not encompass this mountain long enough it's enough now it's enough you have settled for too long you have been in that relationship that you knew you were supposed to go out for too long you have been on the floor so you need to arise from a point of failure and the point of defeat because some people are still on the floor they are on the floor somebody you know abused you so much verbally um emotionally mentally that you don't even know yourself you don't understand yourself anymore but it is possible that you can come back because God wants to restore you in this month of March, receive your restoration in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The Bible says in, 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 in the book of Proverbs 24, 16, it says a righteous man falleth seven times and riseth up again, but the wicked shall fall into mischief. You can rise again. I want you to tell your neighbor, you can rise again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, somebody. The worst thing that you could do is not to fail, but to stay fallen. Hallelujah. Don't stay on the floor. Hallelujah. You can trip and fall. You can miss your step, but don't stay on the floor. Hallelujah. Micah 7 verse 8 says, but as for me, I will look to the Lord. I will wait for God. My Savior, my God will hear me. Do not rejoice over me, my enemy. I love how that scripture ends on verse 8. It says, don't rejoice over me, my enemy. Your enemies must not celebrate celebrate too early. Hallelujah. Because you, God is giving you a comeback. Many looked at, um, Catherine Kuhlman, they saw her as a failure, but God gave her a comeback that they could not understand. Hallelujah. So for as long as God can, can give you that comeback, you go back, whatever you did, whatever you, you arise from sin, you arise from regret, you arise from depression, you arise for, from the things that are hold, holding you back. So I declare and I decree that as we step in the month of March, you will arise from depression, you will arise from regrets, you will arise from any form of mediocrity in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare that whatever the spell that the enemy has cast on you, it is broken in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. The same way that Samson's hair grew, your hair will grow again. You see, they can cut off your hair, but they did not cut off your head. They did not cut off your head. The mistake that they did, what, having known what Samson had done to them and how many of them Samson had killed, maybe if they had cut off his head, they would have been guaranteed that the victory was there. But hey, come on, come on, come on, somebody. Yes, yes, yes. They did not, they cut off the hair. And when the hair grew, the man rose up and he did what he needed to do. Hallelujah. So God is going to restore mantles and graces upon you. There are people who are res being restored right now. That mantle is restored, child of God. That mantle is restored, minister of God. Do not regard yourself as a failure. You can hold that microphone and teach the word of God again. You can preach again. You can pray for somebody again. There is a comeback. Be the comeback kid in March. In the the month of March, you must be a comeback kid. Yes, your college grades will be better. Yes, you can do better. You can do better. No matter what was affecting you, whatever the diagnosis, whether they say you have what they call ADHD or whatever they call it, there is a name that is above every other name that will make sure that you prosper and move forward. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God will do something that will blind your enemy in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. If God was able to blind them so that they don't cut off Samson's head. Instead, they cut off his hair. Then God will make sure that he blinds the enemy. The enemy may think that he knows which buttons to push in your life, but there's a button that he knows. God will, will, will hide that button in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. There is still something left. You see, when you look at what you have lost and you say, I have lost so much, but there is something that is left for as long as you can find something that is left, no matter how small it is, no matter how, how it is like a mustard seed, hallelujah, no matter it's a mustard seed, it is something God can work with that. God can do something with that. Hallelujah. You need to push with all your might. Hallelujah. Push with all your might. 
Arise from visionlessness. Arise, arise. Your vision shall live again. Your baby is leaping again. Those of you who are bought it, Go and conceive again. Go and ask God for those ideas. Refresh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, somebody. As long as you can arise and you can stand up for something and come back to God and say, I have a reason. I am shining. Then you begin to take action. When you take action, there is a harvest. Hallelujah. There is a harvest. That vision must have a harvest. Where there is no vision, there can be no action. And when there is no action, that means there is no movement. That means that you are now at the stagnant water that we spoke about in the book of Micah chapter 2. Let me end with this again. Let me read the scripture again in the book of Micah. Let's go back to that Micah. Micah 2 verse 10. Listen to this prophetic instruction. I want you to go to bed with this. Arise you and depart for this is not your rest. I want you to understand that wherever you stopped today, when you came back from work or maybe you had work from this point where you are hearing this word right now, this is not your rest. This is not your settlement. There is more that God is demanding out of you. There is more that you can do because this is polluted. It shall destroy you. Don't stay in things that will destroy you. Some people I'm speaking strongly to those with wrongful associations those who are having wrongful associations arise from that point hallelujah arise from that point leave those relationships so that God can work with you and God can perfect that good thing that he has started in you I want you to begin to open up your mouth right now and declare and decree that I'm arising and I'm shining I'm arising and I'm shining into my month of March I'm arising from the bondage of sin come on declare it with me Come on, child of God. I am arising from the bondage of sin. I'm arising from regret. I'm arising from failure. In the mighty name of Jesus, I declare and I decree that you shall not be defeated in the month of March. You shall not fail. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you will not be de depressed. You will not be discouraged. Hallelujah. You will arise from any form of inaction. In the name of Jesus, you will arise from any sense of pride of I have arisen arrived. You will do more. You will have the zeal and the strength to do more. You will not delegate your responsibility to succeed. You will not delegate your responsibility to pray and to fast. In the name of Jesus, I declare and I decree that you will arise from your slumber. If you have been sleeping, you will arise in the mighty name of Jesus. The month of March is your month. In the name of Jesus, you will glow. You will be enthusiastic. You will be positive. You will carry momentum in the month of March, anywhere you step into, you will carry that momentum in the name of Jesus. You will release that from the fullness of your belly in the name of Jesus. I declare and I decree in the month of March, you will shine and you will be outstanding. Outstanding will be a word that is used to describe you all the time. You are an awesome individual in the mighty name of Jesus. I wish you could type that amen louder. Hallelujah. I decree and I declare that in the month of March, you, God will provide you with illumination. God will give you direction to do what you need to do in the name of Jesus Christ. In the month of March, you will have personal insight into the word of God. God is going to do something great. I wish I could talk to people who are saying, Pastor Fortune, I am not tired. I'm ready to contend with the devil. If you are not tired, I want you to type in that comment section and say, I am not tired. Type in the comment section and say, I am not tired. I am not tired. I cannot be tired. I will not be tired. I shall not be tired. It's better that the devil gets tired because I'm not getting tired. Not on my watch. I'm not going out like this. You will not die in this situation. You will not die in, 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 in the state that you're in. You will not die until your finances arise and shine. You will not die until your health arises and shines. You will not die until God achieves the destiny that he has set out in in your life. You will not die until you arise and shine. Your children will succeed. Your children will succeed. Your marriage will succeed in the name of Jesus. Better the devil get tired, but you will not get tired. Type it again and say, I am not tired. I am not tired. It's better that you die in motion, child of God. It's better that you die moving instead of being stagnant in the name of Jesus. When you are moving, obstacles have to move out of the way in the name of Jesus. The Bible says that when the children of Israel were 
running away from Pharaoh at the back. The Red Sea was facing to them. The Red Sea had to open. So that obstacle has to move because you are moving. When you begin to approach the Red Sea, you say, I am not tired. I am moving in. I am not tired. I say it again. I say I'm declaring it. I am not tired. Hallelujah. The vision is to move. The instruction in the month of March is move, move, move. You are not tired. You will not be tired. You cannot be tired. You are not tired. The death of a hero is better than a death of a coward. You are not a coward. You are taking on the month of March. You are marching forward. You will arise and shine because your glory has come. In the name of Jesus, it is your season for breaking forth. You are breaking forth on every side of your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare and I decree your light has come. The glory of God will be seen mightily in your life. Eh, Calibro Sokotek, begin to thank God for this word. Begin to thank God for the prophetic declarations that have gone forth. In the name of Jesus Christ, in this season, in this month of March, God will stretch out your boundaries. Your boundaries are being stretched out in the name of Jesus. God will elevate you. I said God will elevate you in the name of Jesus by his spirit. He will beautify your life. God will empower you to do greater works in the month of March. I wish somebody could believe it and declare it. God is going to do greater works through you. Say it to yourself. God is going to do greater works through me. Your business will do greater works. Customers will come because of what God is going to do in your life in the month of March. God is going to beautify your life. Hallelujah. God is going to make sure that as you step in the spotlight, when you decide to move, he's going to put the spotlight on you. You will be bigger. You will be better. You will be greater. I want you to type it in the comment section. Say, I am bigger. I am greater. I am bigger. I am better and I'm greater. In the month of March, I am bigger. I am going better. I am going greater. Bigger, better, greater. Bigger, better, and greater. He will perform new things in your life. He will perform unusual acts that you have not seen in your life. I wish somebody could believe it and type a believing amen so that I can know that I'm, I'm I'm talking to people who are who are feeling this this prophetic word and who are receiving it in the name of Jesus. Father God, I thank you. I declare that your blessings will come unto those who are listening to the sound of my voice and upon my life and also my family, God, in an ex unexpected ways, my God. In an unusual people will come to bless you in Jesus' name. I kid you not. Today I was in a restaurant. I walked up to the to the counter. Somebody came and put money in my hand just after greeting me. Oh, you guys are not ready for these testimonies. I did not. And it's like they met a need at that point that I needed. Hallelujah. But let me get out of that. Thank you, Jesus. God will bring the right people in your life that you need for that situation, for that need, for that dream, for that vision. God is bringing the right people your way in your situation. I decree order where there is disorder in your life in the month of March, you will walk in an ordered manner. Your steps are ordered for the Lord by the Lord and you will, you, you will shine. You, the light will shine on your path. You will not miss your steps. The children that you have will also walk in the right steps ordered by God in the name of Jesus. There will be order order, no more disorder, no more disorganization, no more discouragement, no more confusion. In the name of Jesus, I declare joy where there was sadness in the mighty name of Jesus. Shout amen if you believe that. I declare fruitfulness where there was barrenness. In the name of Jesus, I proclaim peace where there was turmoil. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I decree God's perfect will into your life. I decree God's perfect will into your family. I decree God's perfect will into your business. I decree decree God's perfect will into your church, man of God, woman of God. I decree God's perfect will in the nation where you are watching me from in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Receive a mighty God's visitation in the month of March. Every single day of March will be a mighty visitation from God. He will cause kings to come to the brightness of your rising. This is your season for miracles. The month of March will be your season of miracles in the mighty name of Jesus. Signs and wonders will follow you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ and the saints of God said amen and hallelujah and we praise God amen and amen thank you so much everybody who tuned in those of you who are on Facebook I can see that you are still tuned in thank you so much 
for tuning in. Let us meet again together tomorrow, same time, same place, 10 o'clock. We are diligent. We are going into this thing. We are moving forward. We are charging forward. Remember, type it out as you are signing out. Type, I am not tired. I am moving forward. I am not tired. I am moving forward. You can also type, I'm rising and I'm shining. I'm rising and I'm shining. I am not tired. Thank you so much. God bless you. I love you so much. Thank you so much. Bless you guys.